Hello friends and welcome to the 2.71828-1828 Productions Pwn Your Homework channel. In today's lesson, we will review one of the most fundamental tools in understanding the mathematical equations that make up such a large part of what we do every day as physicists. Aside from using numbers and our regular alphabet, there are so many quantities in physics that out of necessity we have been forced to pillage other languages for their symbols. Since these are not used in everyday life, for the beginning physicist, this can only add to the dauntingness and inaccessibility that physics and mathematics initially offer. In this video, I aim to remove that barrier by reviewing all of the Greek letters and reviewing what some of the more common uses of them are. The Greek alphabet consists of 48 symbols, 24 uppercase and 24 lowercase. As some consolation to the new learner, half of the uppercase is identical to our familiar English alphabet. First, let's take a look at the uppercase Greek alphabet one letter at a time. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Xi, Omicron, Pi, Rho, Sigma, Tau, Upsilon, Phi, Chi, Psi, Omega. Now, let's take a look at the lowercase Greek alphabet. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Xi, Omicron, Pi, Rho, Sigma, Tau, Upsilon, Phi, Chi, Psi, Omega. Great! The next step in demystifying the Greek letters is to show many of their common uses in physics. The following examples are symbols that you might encounter in your first semester or year of introductory physics. The uppercase Greek letter omega is used to represent the electrical resistance of a material. It is also the symbol for the metric unit of resistance, ohms. The lowercase Greek letter alpha is used to represent angular acceleration. An example of this is circular motion, if a car takes a turn around a circular curve. The lowercase Greek letter beta is used to represent a beta particle. The lowercase Greek letter theta is commonly used to represent an angle. The uppercase Greek letter delta is frequently used to represent the change in a quantity, such as the change in time by delta t, change in position as delta x, and change in velocity as delta v. This usually just means subtracting the initial quantity from the final quantity. The lowercase Greek letter lambda represents the wavelength in wave analysis. Something you will become very familiar with when discussing Newton's second law, the lowercase Greek letter mu commonly denotes the coefficient of friction. Greek letters can also be used to represent commonly used physical constants, like the lowercase Greek letter pi, representing 3.14. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are actually so many variables that letters will actually have different meanings depending on the topic. But don't worry, even if this is looking intimidating right now, just a few repetitions of the Greek alphabet will get you feeling more comfortable. In the next video, we will provide a flashcard style review for some of the more common Greek letters. Thanks for watching, and this has been Eli Hibbet with 2.71828-1828 Productions Pwn Your Homework channel. Don't forget to check us out at 2718productions.com and check us out at Twitter at 2718productions.